how's your 2021 going are you in the return line did you have 2021 on layaway from 2020 and now that you have it you don't want to keep making payments like hi guys <laughs> wow i know right i was like she's really gonna start on tv right this second that's awkward welcome back to my channel welcome if you're new today's video if you couldn't tell by the title already is a what i eat in a day i have like a 1600 calorie situation going on because i'm in a cut kind of still pretty early into it because of quarantine my activity is lower and therefore my calories kind of are coinciding with that if I had more activity, I'd probably have a higher calorie allowance. As for like what I eat on a daily basis, let me start by saying I'm vegan and I'm gluten free. I think I really just try to focus on getting high protein in and getting good nutrition and then also making sure I have a good amount of fiber in there for reasons that maybe you can guess about. <laughs> Before I eat anything, when I wake up, I kind of continue to like fast for a few more hours. I don't like eat right away. A lot of times I'll have a spoonful of balsamic vinegar, which has, as far as I know, health benefits that I'll put on, on the screen here. I wait an hour and then I'll have a spoonful of... Oh, oh. <laughs> And then I'll have a spoonful of coconut oil, which I will put the benefits of that here. Also wanna say that I don't take any supplements. The only supplement, I guess, because it's supplemental, is I use a pea protein isolate, and I get that from my protein, and that'll be linked in the description. It's just 100% pure pea protein isolate. I don't get it with any flavors or anything because I like to have control over my source of sweetener. I use my fitness pal to track everything, and then I also use a food scale. Even when it calls for a measuring cup, I will do my best to translate that into grams or ounces or something i just think measuring cups are annoying and you have to wash them and i just think food scales are easier and they're also a little more accurate i feel like than measuring cups because with measuring cups they can kind of be subjective you can pack something you can also kind of like go over it go a little bit under it so it's not really that exact and i will link either my food scale or a food scale in the description below first meal that I have. I have been starting the day with oatmeal. I just kind of started to reincorporate it into my diet because of needing like more fiber and I'm also trying to focus more on like nutrients and oatmeal has a lot of great nutrients. It's a very good like whole food food like i said i measure everything out with a scale basically i will have about like two servings in the day i think that's about like a cup which is about two of 48 grams i usually cut that into half so i might have 48 grams in the morning and then like 48 grams for lunch i like quick oats i weigh that out and then i added a little little dash of salt you know what i'm saying i like to sweeten with honey dash of salt honey, some hot water. During the holidays, I was putting a little bit of eggnog in it. It's pretty fire. That's my first meal. Okay. Now for the perfect way to ease yourself into the day. It's my guide to brunches. For meal number two, I have a protein shake every single day because I just feel like gains and I really, really want to keep my muscle mass. It's also kind of like a nice little dessert, the way that I personally make it. Pop out that scale. Pop, pop out that scale, sis. I use coconut sugar for everything. I literally only use coconut and honey. I don't use agave. I just think that for whatever reason, they make me want sugar like a lot more. I throw a little bit of salt in there because if you know anything about flavors or cooking or baking or anything, salt balances out sugar and sometimes like sugar doesn't taste sweet enough if you don't add salt. 15 grams, which is one tablespoon of the Enjoy Life dark chocolate chips. 
not the regular milk chocolate chips for me personally. I do two scoops of protein powder. I mean, I'm exact, but I'm also like, if something's a single gram off, it's really not gonna make that much of a difference, right? It's like, if you're like 10 grams off and stuff is where it really like, it'll add up. Oh, and I use this milk that I came across one day. It's flax milk, but it has protein in it. And then guess what I do? And I blend it and yeah, it comes out all frothy and I, I tried to show a bicep, but really it just looks like my arm is thick. <laughs> Brussels sprouts, Karen? Yeah. That's my favorite food. Brussels sprouts? Exactly. Do you huh? want one? I don't want an afterthought Brussels sprout. I want a before thought Brussels sprout. Meal number three, my dinner, right? I try to kind of eat the same things every day. I took the time to pick things that I want to eat every day. It's just easier personally i think to keep track of whatever you're doing if you're doing it consistently what i've been having for dinner is basically i'm just i just kind of have like beans and rice on some sasson i just literally have beans and rice i have garbanzo beans slash chickpeas i just do like basmati or jasmine rice i think i do like one or two servings of rice which is like 45 or 90 grams i put a sauce Cause I'm a sauce Let me know if you need a sauce for everything. Like, like, let me just say, it doesn't matter what a chef does to like that, that meal. You could put all of the seasonings. You could have your grandmama cook it and then your aunt cook it. Like I need a sauce. I, I don't know, I just like sauce. So even if it's ketchup, I like the Maya, Maya Kamal <clears throat> curry, the one that's vegan because i don't know i don't think they're all vegan i might take calories away from somewhere else because i like, really need sauce to enjoy my food and then i because this is very self-explanatory and then i basically eat it you know what i'm saying like that's pretty much what i eat in a day i try to just make everything work for me i try to choose meals that I want to eat. I try to choose meals that are manageable for me to make on a daily basis. I might I might pop a little couple chocolate chips in my mouth. <laughs> my thinking is if you have like a craving or something like that, it's better to like address it right away than like let it turn into this like moment where you're like I have to eat everything. I recommend gently as a non-nutritionist, just like as a little friend that maybe that could be a good tactic for you if you're finding it challenging to keep up with like a diet or something like that. Find things that are in between like delectable and like stuff that you go in on and like really boring. If you can find that balance, you're A1. What? Like, so for example, if you really like to have burgers, whatever your meal is that you could really binge on, like having dry broccoli and like boiled eggs, and unless you like that, find a balance between like the pizza and the broccoli. Try to curate a menu for yourself that involves things that are tasty enough for you to continuously eat and not feel like you're deprived and things like that you're still going to be able to be responsible with your like food situation thank you guys so much for watching my video definitely comment definitely like subscribe let me know some other fun things about you i'm gonna go eat my dinner now watch my ne my my next video please watch my next video by subscribing putting on the notifications and then also watch my last video where i went through my fitness slash weight loss journey with you guys and everything everything like that and stuff and things like that so yeah Oh yeah, I'm, oh yeah, I'm doing this. Along with me and explain my fitness journey. So let's get started. So first I wanna give you guys a little bit of background pertaining